smoked black tea. It's gonna have a nice head. Perfect, excellent, thank you very much. <laughs> Our swag bags. Circulates that water through the grounds over and over again, so you're able to release it that much faster than you are by just setting it still mm -hmm. overnight in the fridge. Oh wow! So it's about like surface contact, I guess, or I get right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that water is actually moving through the grounds instead of slowly soaking in. Yeah. Wow. Gee, cool. look at the patent on this. Man. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Damn. That's the guy. Which 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 uh, industrial college uh, I'm a mechanical engineer amazing Jesus he's a Notre Dame guy yeah wow. <laughs> amazing and tea festival mm -hmm. starting with the things we bought because we actually bought a ton and then also our swag bags came with lots of really good like samples and full-size products and stuff too and I also just wanted to say I feel like we went to this festival a few years ago and I feel like it was smaller and maybe just like less um, like less coffee and tea focused there was a lot of non coffee and tea stuff there this year but I feel like there was more of a focus like even if that wasn't what they were actually selling they tried to make it like the wine people but they're like oh we have this wine that we infused with tea sure. but it was really nice it was like a good size it was not crazy crowded so I'm just gonna take stuff out in the order that I find it so to start we have three of these Todd's Dirt Spice Blends, which again, yeah, is not tea. So I wanted this one, and then they had a deal if you bought three, so these two are actually yours for Christmas presents, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but what... Actually, I was going to keep the Bayou one, but I'll give sure, okay. Christmas present, bro. One of them is yours, and one of them is a present. 
but they're just like spice blends and he was serving them with like chicken samples mm -hmm. and as dips and stuff i like this one to try to make for a, as a dip and you want to do one we'll take turns hot sauce <clears throat> also a coffee or tea <laughs> um the benito's hot sauce out of vermont i bought their last remaining white hot onion garlic ginger they have a uh, chipotle smoked maple garlic and they have a i bought the uh that one's old koi dog old koi dog it's a ghost ghost pepper nice. uh, uh excellent okay they had a smoked but they had chili infused uh, maple syrup as well which was very good very good benito's look them up. <laughs> okay so then um, i have from farm fromage more coffee and tea. No, <laughs> yeah, none of these are coffee or tea. Um, but we have four different cheeses because they also had a deal if you buy four cheeses. So the blue cheese was yours, and the smoked cheddar was yours, and then I got the beer washed. Oh, Peter needs to check it out. <laughs> I got the beer washed, and this one called Angela's Pillow, which is like a camembert style cheese. And actually, the way they were handing them out was really cool, and I'm sure. They do it all the time because they well, like really should. But yeah, he was like, we're going to go on a tour of cheeses. And first you're going to take this and then you're going to try this. And then do you like French onion soup? Then you'll like this onion cheese. And mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But it was really good. So they sold us. Uh, the, the, one of the first purchases, actual first tea. Purchase. <laughs> a company called Craft Tea out of uh, Philadelphia. A lot of uh, hand-done artwork and lots of nice text in the back here. Describes things very well. So what flavor did you get? Baked at the Lake. <laughs> Uh, it's a, a loose leaf black tea blended with Lapsang Souchong, a savory smoked spice blend, um, and there's lots of text on the back here. Oh, and there's a vinyl pairing. Yeah, so they actually were playing records at their yeah. booth, and they had like a whole box of records that went along with things, I guess. Um, so, and the guy who, who runs it was actually saying, like, this is how handmade it is. He had run out of a couple things at the show yesterday and just like quick went home and made some more last night to bring in today so they are like very much hand uh, put together vinyl pairing is the velvet underground album loaded from 1970 okay. so i'm gonna have to fire that up so. okay so this next one um was also bought as a christmas gift mm -hmm. but this was from there's um this brand Taste Artisanal Market, they have all different honeys. We've seen them at some other events too, they're kind of local. But this one is the Florentine Honey Spread. It actually says culinary honey, mm -hmm. but it's like honey with like nuts and things in it. And actually they were saying it's good to put over like a baked brie, that sort of situation. They but we're- it as Christmas in a jar. Yes, and it is. It's like herbs and nuts and honey kind of all mixed together into like a thick paste mm. this says it's good with ice cream too mm, wow yeah but this is a gift i'll put this mm. here with mm, your coffee from coffee from know. more coffee and tea i guess uh no coffee coffee from retro future this guy was really cool um he's a dj but he also now does coffee and such and so he had a lot of like parody. A Back to the Future one. But he called it Back to the Coffee. Yeah, and a, um, a Christmas Story Christmas one. Story. The Little Dog Dare You. And uh, this one here is... Um, oh, Gingerbread, it says. Yeah, uh, what's it? How, the, How the Coffee Stole Christmas. Oh. <laughs> uh, so a lot of, a lot of um, parody, retro... Uh, there was one, it was a Jimi Hendrix one called Hey Joe. Uh, so it was really cool. Also, Christmas gift. Cool. Um, so I got a piece mm. of tea-inspired artwork. I didn't film at this booth because I think artists are mm -hmm. sensitive about like taking mm -hmm. pictures of their artwork, especially mm -hmm. like I like I filmed some of the pottery, but that's not something you can like reproduce from a picture. This you could, um, but I really she had this whole series of drawings of like teacup-shaped things, but they were like human anatomy or different like inspired by different artists or different philadelphia things so anyway um we love the motor museum so this is a teacup kind of shape based on the motor museum so i will add this to my little art gallery upstairs in my office i think that was my last purchase so i got three of them already. yeah <laughs> then there was uh, simplicity oh yeah they were fun they were nice people nice people and uh they sold laugh saying souchong so i had to buy some on principle so that was for myself, uh, smoked Chinese black tea. 
and a small bag as a Christmas gift of blackberry jasmine green tea. Um, they're very nice people, and there we go. That was an easy one. What else do I have here? The cans. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have a lot of cans and stuff. And then you had Sail Away. I have a card from them. Sail Away Coffee Company. Uh, it seems like all their canned coffees are nitro. So this one's sea salt and caramel. This one's horchata. Cold brew. Shake lightly. Yeah, he said just shake it like three times. And this one here is Sleigh Ride. He had nitro, cold brew coffee Ooh, with peppermint. peppermint. Peppermint and cocoa. We didn't even read what it was. We didn't even see that no, it was peppermint. Cacao. And peppermint cacao. And cacao. Hello, not cocoa. My fault. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here, you Santa, can keep this card with them. Santa giving a thumbs up. Yeah. So oh, they, they this, sort of. This card goes with the honey. Ooh, nice. Okay, keep, keep this in uh, order here. And this card was from a coffee shop we didn't even know mm -hmm. was open, but it's like Poor near us. Yeah, poor Richards, and it's um, Benjamin Franklin themed with the key and the kite, so we have mm -hmm. to like it. Have to. <laughs> okay, and I think you have one more purchase, and then mm -hmm. I think the rest is just. Mm -hmm. So, also oh potential, <laughs> some of these are going to end up being Christmas gifts as well. We have uh, basically they're like tea based Red Bulls. <laughs> um, they taste a lot better than Red Bull does. Yeah. And same deal, uh, I guess. Taurine and you name you name the yeah. It says it gives you energy, but it doesn't have like a crash or a buzz or. Mm -hmm. So but it's called zesty. I should, I should rip out the. Uh, you well, can they were open. out. Yeah, it's yeah. an open thing. So you mixed and matched your own twelve pack. So we had blackberry lime, which uh, based on a black tea, blackberry lime. Yeah. Uh, passion fruit berry. Pomegranate mint. Yeah. There you go. Nice. So uh, they were selling a fifteen for fifteen dollars a for case 12 pack. Yeah. for twelve Which is pack. Half of what the regular. And they said online purchases a case is thirty dollars. Yeah, so good. why not? You couldn't say no. Couldn't say no. And then is that all your purchases? Uh, that's it. Then we got the swag bag. Yeah. So let's see, because we didn't actually go through the swag bag, but there's like good stuff in here. So here is um, Tipson Moringa Original tea bags, a twenty-five packed box and tips and matcha tea bags matcha honey and lemon tea bags i don't mm -hmm. know that i've seen matcha in a tea bag that's interesting and then there's a full-sized can of this focus grapefruit infused with caffeine mm -hmm. mm. Um, okay and things are circled in the description yeah the it's a little can. confusing to read Okay, and then there's little packs of organic stevia in the raw, regular stevia in the raw, and sweet and low. There is some kind of bar. Raw Rev Glow Peanut Butter Dark Chocolate and Sea Salt Bar with Raw Superfoods. It's got protein. It feels like a hearty, thick bar. Oh, yes. There is a pouch of organic mm. French roast coffee. Yeah, you can take that. I don't make coffee. Okay. <laughs> Christmas gift. Uh, or, I mean, you can just have it. Here's um, from plumdeluxe.com, a little tiny pouch of tea and some kind of card. Would you like to I guess about how to order. Matcha? Um, if it turns I, we out got, to we got good. different ones. Oh, you got turmeric. Oh, out. that's good because I do not like turmeric. So that's all you. Oh, and matcha, cinnamon, you and ginger. Switch, wow, no, cinnamon? that's like this is the ideal flavors. This is my for you. matcha, I guess. <laughs> well, I, I could, I could, well yeah. try them, and we might yeah. want to trade swap back and forth. Man, turmeric okay. tea. Wow, oh, man. that's so funny that you ended up with those flavors you like. What? With turmeric tea, it's like which teapot am I gonna ruin yeah. permanently? Well, maybe if it's in a tea bag, maybe it's not like. Scrub out your teapots. So here's um, Citrus Green by Adagio Teas. I've actually never tried Adagio. They're kind of, they're a competitor to David's Teas, of oh, which wow. we are a big fan. Did you get the same one as me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, same one, uh, Citrus, Citrus Green. Citrus yeah. Green, yep. And we got Biron Tisco Packing. What? Tisco uh, Packing? Byron? Byron? Yeah, T. T. Go. Packing. I can't read all these fonts. Teas go. Teas. Co-packing. Teas co-packing. Oh, here, wait, here it is written. T 
tea bags, over wraps, and custom blends. Oh, so this is if you want to make your own tea blend. They will pack it in bags for you. Wow. And here's an example of like a the pink pepper citron black tea. It looks like they use the pyramid bag. Yeah. Now. Yeah, so actually a lot of the places at the show today use these um, like microfiber kind of bags. Um, a lot of times like the more high-end teas come in them, they're not just a paper tea bag, they're like a little more fabric-y. They come in the pyramid shape sometimes, or sometimes they're just a regular flat square. But there was actually something that came out recently that like when you heat them to the level that you would heat tea, it actually like releases all these microfibers that you then ingest and it's like really bad. So paper tea bags are totally fine, and of course brewing loose leaf tea is totally fine, but it's those fabric-y bags that is a little worrying. Imagine that one yet. I have not gotten to this one. Mm -hmm. Nepal tea. Oh jeez. Kanchanjunga. Uh oh. Noir. Mm. Yep. Kanchanjunga noir. <laughs> okay. And then Paromi. We got a Paromi full leaf Earl Grey. Oh, I got, I got different one. Oh, you got switch. sleep with no. me. I got Earl Grey. No, I want to keep Earl. Oh, it's a pyramid as well. Yeah. Wait, this is my. This might be different because this says one biodegradable sachet. Oh, okay, nice. That might be nice. something different. But if you do have tea in those microfiber ones, just take it out and steep it like a loose tea, loose like leaf, in a strainer yeah. or something. Yeah, I don't think anything different here. Yeah. Oh, here's the card from Farm Fromage for um, mm -hmm. a discount on our online mm -hmm. order. And this is what? Oh, Moo Pods milk sugar. One tablet. Mm. Did you get a tablet mm -hmm. of milk sugar? Yes. Okay. And wow, that's a heck of a tablet. Well, it's like the milk and the yeah. sugar in one. It feels like one mm. like Tums tablet or something. Wow. And we got tea chino, the rich taste of coffee, the health benefits of herbal tea. There's a tea bag inside. Mm. Mine is dandelion caramel nut. Oh, and a coupon for a dollar off a tea chino. Mm. Where's the flavor? Open it up. Oh no, no. Same, same one. one. There you go. Cool. Nice, that's interesting. Some business card. Cool. I think so that's we made amazing. out real well from this thing. I mean, this is just what came for free, plus all this stuff we bought. Oh yeah, this was cool. This guy um, made a, he's an engineer, and he designed a product that makes cold brew tea in what, like 15 ten, minutes? Ten minutes? Yeah, instead of like brewing it, like steeping it overnight, it's a machine that kind of like circulates the water up, or sorry, it's not cold brew tea. You mix cold brew coffee. coffee in like 10 minutes as opposed to overnight because oh, nice. it circulates the water mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. the coffee. Although, I mean, I assume you have to at least start with cold water or like have it run in the refrigerator or something. But he basically mm -hmm. just had a prototype there and part of their, like, mm -hmm. if you sign up for their mailing list, you could vote on what design you liked mm -hmm. for their like final product. So that was really cool. Very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Did we get everything? I think I got everything. I yeah. think that's it. So successful day at the coffee and tea festival. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. I I really liked it. I think it was very well run and well curated and like good crowd and good people. So not too crowded. No, purpose. it was good. Yeah. yeah. I'll, we'll try to go back. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Mash that notification bell button thing. I don't know. I'm a cat.